Hey everyone, and welcome to another HD tutorial. And, um, class, I was just wondering, how often do you defragment your hard drive? Yeah, about once a month. Every other weekend? Every day! Um, what's defragmenting? Alright class, it's time for another HD tutorial. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in, and um, I just need to point out that a lot of people don't know how often to defragment their hard drive. A lot of people don't know how to defragment their hard drive. A lot of people, like someone I know, never has defragmented their hard drive. So, no, but um, it's really necessary to keep your computer fast and running. I'm, work I'm working on a laptop here, and if I want to save battery, like you saw in my battery saving tips video, t uh, video series, it's really necessary to keep your hard drive defragmented and running smooth so your computer isn't draining batteries searching, searching through all those jumbled files. So I'm going to show you here a really cool program that I use uh, to speed up the process of defragmenting. It's not actually the built-in Vista defragmenter. And I hope you like this tutorial, so thanks for watching and enjoy. Alright, welcome to my desktop. Here we're going to go over <clears throat> the exact defragmenting program that I use. It's called DiskKeeper Pro 2008. So if I just go to my start menu here, here is the icon. Now I know this is paid software, but I paid for it in 2008 and I haven't upgraded. So I'm just going to click on it here and it's going to open it up. And if UAC does pop up, which it normally does for a defragmenting tool like this one, then just hit allow. So here is the interface. Okay, what I'm going to do for you guys is just go over a very general look at the interface of DiskKeeper 2008 Pro Premiere and how it actually helps you to keep your hard drive clean. Now the first thing that's fairly obvious is that it's going to defragment your hard drive. It has several features that actually uh, do different things as it's defragmenting your hard drive, such as creating it, um, oh, also you can set up automatically defrag, but if you just click on your C drive once and click the defragment button, you'll come up with a separate window that automatically, well, number one, begins analyzing your hard drive, and then number two, begins the process of defragmenting it. So I'm going to close because I'm actually doing a recording right now. But when I, when I go to the quick start guide, it's going to tell me the whole list of the different features using DiskKeeper. It's going to go to show you the quick launch pane, which is this uh, this line of uh, action buttons along the top here. Um, so that's a very helpful button that you can always go to if you're stuck or if you're trying to figure out how to get it to do something. Now, a frequently asked question about DiskKeeper is, can you set up automatic defragmentation? And that is very true. If you go to the configure DiskKeeper button, no, I'm pretty sure it's analyze and defragment volume, but here we go. It's under volume properties. And there's a big button here that says automatic defragmentation. And it says that automatic defragmentation maximizes the performance of your hard drive using boot time defragmentation, iFast, and frag shield. And frag shield is basically what keeps it from ever fragmenting again. So I keep it running on the weekends. Right now it's a Monday, so it's not running in the background. But it's very good because if I cancel here, you can see it says um, invisitasking tasking is what it's called. It uses barely any system resources. If I were to scroll down, there's even a graph of how much system resources it's using. So that's quite useful that it can do that for me. So I'm going to keep scrolling down. Here are a list. You get a list of the most rec recently defragmented files. So when I last re uh, defragmented my disk, uh, my disk drive, you saw I had a uh, screen capture that was recording to all different parts of my disk. When I ran this, the file had six fragments. It threw it all together in one smooth file, and that's that worked very fine. So, um, and also at the end, you can always just click recommendations to see if you should or shouldn't defragment your hard drive. Um, it'll give you a little diagnosis here. Now, on my old desktop computer, which is sitting downstairs with 128 megabytes of RAM, it was crucial that I defragmented my hard drive. However, I never defragmented my hard drive in the years that I had it. And it would have had down here something like a crucial or <laughs> deadly health, okay? It was a very bad condition. And I ended up running this a few times on it, about six times over the course of one day, and got it back to tip-top shape. So manual defragmentation will do that for you. And then keep on automatic defragmentation to keep your hard drive running well. Now, iFast technology is basically what is going to keep your most recently accessed files closest to the front and closest and most actively maintained. Uh, so I really like that feature because it, it holds my files together really well. Also, at the top, there's a File, Action, View, and Help. Let's go to File, 
file, you get an options window, which is basically whether or not you want to permanently delete console saved files, like via history of your defragmenting, etc. Not much options there. And you can obviously exit. If you go under action, here's the, here's the big one. You can refresh using F5, just like a browser, okay? Getting started with, quick, with the quick start guide that I showed you, as well as an overview and FAQs. Um, you can check out the properties of a certain uh, drive, so if you were to right click on it, you could always go to properties here, or you could just um, go up here, have it selected, go to option, op bleh, action here, and uh, configure disk keeper is also another thing where you can um, basically, you can change different things, there's a lot more options here um, than the actual options menu, but it's licensed, it's got a whole ton of different things about disk keeper and what it's actually doing for your computer. File exclusions, if you want to exclude certain files, proxy settings, so it's really good. So if you ever uh, actually edit any of these preferences or properties, just hit apply and then hit OK. Last but not least, or second to last, we have view and customize, where you can actually customize what is up here in the launch pane. So if you want to have the standard toolbar, here we go, the standard toolbar just pops up, I uncheck it and it's gone. The status bar, okay, you can have a status bar, a description bar which is this little thing up here. It's not actually telling me anything's happening, but... So different things like that, you can change the actual interface of Disk Keeper. So I really, really recommend it for anyone who's looking into a Disk Keeper or a Disk Defragmenting program. Now, if I exit out of here, you'll be able to see. If I go into all my programs and find it, it actually replaces the built-in Windows Disk Defragmenter. So if you do go to All Programs, Accessories, and I believe it's under System Tools. So if I go down to System Tools here, and I go down to Disk Defragmenter, it's not actually there. Okay, so it's it's replaced it with Disk Keeper 2008 Disk Defragmenter. It's replaced it completely. I really don't like the built-in Windows Vista or Windows XP Disk Defragmenter just because they're so unbelievably slow. But, you know, if you can't, if you don't want to buy it, then that's for you. So there we go. I recommend defragmenting your hard drive as often as possible. And if you have any other tutorials or requests or, requests or ideas for me for a tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and send me a personal message, and I will get back to it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe. Peace out, guys.